Um, so, uh, this is something we talked about with George, but um, the internationals, obviously, uh, most of them come back to the club this week. Um, how much of a difference has that made in training to you? Well, obviously, it adds more attacking firepower to what we have. A lot more experience at the same time. But uh, I think the core of the group, you know, is still intact. And, you know, some boys have been rested. Some boys have returned from injury. And we're very excited by the possibility and the prospect of what we're able to do when we have our strong 23. And we're very much looking forward to, uh, looking forward to Friday nights. Yeah, and has it helped with the atmosphere around the squad, with uh, the, the guys coming back from the Six Nations? Well, obviously, you know, it's, it's a lot more enjoyable seeing those faces, you know, those, those, those boys, they bring a lot of energy, they bring a lot of focus back. Um, what is also great about it is that the team itself, I mean, whilst they were gone, a lot of youngsters have stepped up. Um, results have not been going our way, but, you know, it's, it's also a learning transition for these youngsters that come in and the energy that they've brought along with them, you know, so it wasn't the type of uh, mentality that, you know, our star firepower or our wingers and some of our best players have gone away to internationals now, you know. Those youngsters knew the shoes they had to fill and, you know, they did a great job. And But now, you know, we've learned from our mistakes and, you know, we're just relishing for the opportunity on Friday. Yeah, of course, Exeter have got 10 wins under their belts already. How tough are you expecting Friday night to be? Very tough. It's going to be one of the toughest games of the season, no doubt. But like I said, you know, I think this this squad usually rises when that sort of pressure comes on, you know, when one of those biggest games come around the corner, you know. You know, we, we don't focus on a lot about the opposition. We just focus that we're able to do what we're good at at 100%, you know, and everybody wants to get their body and their minds in a sort of place, you know, for such an event as Friday night will be. Yeah, and the Chiefs style is kind of well established, isn't it? How well would you say you know their style and can they still surprise teams? They're European champions and they're premiership champions. They're, they're the best team right now in Europe. But at the same time, like I said, you know, we give them a lot of respect. We know what they've accomplished, but at the same time, you know, you're only as good as your last game, you know, and we're just focused on each other. We're focused on what we can do. We try not to look very much left and right. We just focus on what we have to do. And, you know, we're very, you know, we've, we've worked hard this week. It's been a very short week because it's a Friday game. But, you know, having everyone back, having everyone rested, ready to go, there's a bit of edge between the group, especially today in training. The boys that weren't playing and weren't selected, you know, they were pushing the boundaries. They were pushing the boys that were starting. And, you know, it's, 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 uh, you'd think that with a couple games on the losing streak or couple, losing a couple games, that, you know, a squad will be deflated or be asking questions about whether or not. But we've been losing, for the games that we have lost, they've been couple points here, a couple points there, it's never been a huge, so there is definitely self-belief and we just all just sat down and understood what those reasons were. Yeah, and, that's and it. looking at Exeter and just how strong they are, would you say it's the ability to convert chances from short range, is that their, their biggest threat? No, no, they're, 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 <clears throat> they're a team that hold on to the ball very well. They hold on, they work hard, and they realise that whatever energy they spend, the the opposition has to spend it trying to stop them. So, you know, this, this is a team that will hold the ball for 30 plus phases. They'll try to score off the first phase, they might score off the 40th phase, you know, and that's what we said, that's why we had such a hard training day today that we had to just focus all, all 15 players on the field and just had to go and no one switches off. And we're back in our ability to be the best that we can be and the result will follow. And of course, looking ahead, it's La Rochelle in the Champions Cup, um, only a few days away. Are the team playing for a starting place in that quarter final this weekend? Well, obviously, selection and everything is about is up to the coaches. We as we as a pack, we as a twenty-three man squad, you know, we just do our jobs every week. We focus on how we can get better individually. 
what has been letting us down, what has been letting us down individually, what has been letting us down as a pack. And we just focus on each other. And just like I said, we don't really look left or right. We just focus on each other and what we have to do as a squad to go forward. Now, I don't know whether you knew him, but um, Graham Spring has died, of course, the, the stadium announcer at King's Home. Lots of tributes coming in to us here at Radio Gloucestershire. Um, how much have the club been talking about it behind the scenes? Players perhaps who knew him and you know have, have fond memories <coughs> of him? Well, more of the senior boys, boys like Billy and everything, who have much more bigger ties to the club. You know, they know who, who he is, but obviously youngsters coming in, you know, they were just learning, watching videos, hearing all these stories about him. So there's a lot of respect, you know, obviously the entire team sends their condolences to the family and everyone. But uh, yeah, you know, it's it's going to be a weekend where we want to make him proud and everything, you know, just to wear the jersey with pride and show that sort of, you know, physicality and respect that the Gloucester jersey owe. Um, earned over the years, you know, so 